everybody. Good evening. Do you think that 50 years ago, anybody could have predicted our current situation? Right now, what we are experiencing is very similar to the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, although COVID-19 will possibly provide a greater impact on our society today. As we all know, COVID-19 is a respiratory illness that can be spread easily from person to person. The symptoms and effects of COVID-19 can be fatal, and they worsen if you are over the age of 50 and have any medical or respiratory issues. Because this virus is fairly new, many hospitals and most countries were not prepared to face it when it arrived. And this led to several problems. Many hospitals soon became flooded with patients coming in all at once in the middle of March. And this caused panic and confusion for doctors because it meant they had to work for several hours over time. And several of them got the virus as well. For example, Dr. Li Wenlong was the first Chinese doctor to make contact with patients of the coronavirus. Unfortunately, he passed away from the coronavirus, but he was deemed a hero. Since there were so many patients with coronavirus, hospitals soon ran out of supplies that they needed, such as masks and gloves, and this led to medical professionals have, having to work without proper protection. And this is really risky. In some countries, there would be such a lack of ventilators that hospital workers would have to choose between patients who to give a ventilator to, while others would have to die while trying to survive on their own. Imagine the pressure of having to make such a decision. The stress is immeasurable, and I applaud these doctors and nurses for taking such risky decisions during their work day. So many people have already died of this virus, and this has caused so much fear for nearly everybody. And because of this, there have been a lack of customers from many places, such as shopping malls, movie theaters, restaurants, and beauty parlors. These places depend on providing services to customers. So when there's a lack of people coming into these places, jobs are lost and businesses are shut down. Studies show that 35 of the most popular American restaurant chains will not be reopening after this pandemic ends. This has obviously harmed the economy greatly, and it will take quite an amount of time before we can rebuild it. Since there is a travel ban for several countries, tourism-dependent cities and areas such as India, Bangladesh, and the city of Cancun are also suffering as well. While all of this is happening, the future and education of the world's youth is being altered tremendously. Since most schooling has obviously become online, students are not being taught in the most effective way that they could be in a real classroom. Online schooling encourages procrastination and laziness, and this can be detrimental for a person's future. Online schooling also makes it really easy for students to cheat on assignments and tests, since nowadays, asking your friend for answers is so easy. Many college students are currently living alone on campus while taking online classes, and this prevents them from seeing their friends and family. Because of this, these students are gaining mental illnesses such as depression, and this can be really harmful for a person living alone because it means they can't get the help they need to get better. Many teenagers who are looking to go into a good college can't participate in extracurriculars and sports activities that would affect which college they're submitted into, and this affects their futures tremendously. COVID-19 has affected all of our futures a lot, and it will change so much about our current lives and the people we love as well, but it has also brought a positive impact on many lives as well. Many businesses have started as a creative way for people to make money and follow their dreams. Many countries and nations have also been charitable towards others in providing help and youth, help and aid to these the other nations that are in need of it. Many charities have also started as a way to provide help for the victims of this pandemic. And medical research and studying has been done to find a cure for this coronavirus. And this research will be really helpful in the future in case a situation like this ever happens again. COVID-19 has changed a lot about our lives, but I know that this will not last and our world will be much stronger after. Thank you.